एक्स्ट्रा टाइम Colonel, what can we expect from the wicket out here? Uh, I guess uh, wicket looks good here in Bangalore. Obviously, I guess it would be better than Wise what uh, it was in Wisak. So, like we expect uh, more runs on this wicket compared to Wisak. Colonel, uh, what do you make of your current role in the team? Uh, you don't usually bat at seven. Uh, is that something you'd like to change at some point? Maybe bat higher, or are you okay uh, with the way it is right now? Uh, I'm not thinking about uh, where I want to bat or uh, what I want to do. I'm just focused uh, what is in my hand, whether I bat at uh, seven, eight, uh, four, five. Uh, I just want to go out there and contribute to the team, whether I'm bowling or batting. So I'm not thinking any, uh, right now about my batting order. Uh, the way Australia played, or even the batting order that surprised you in the first game. Uh, I guess uh, first they bowled really well. Uh, they restricted us uh, in. Uh, uh, 123 total. About the batting, I guess uh, uh, we bowled well. At the same time, uh, they, uh, few batsmen got run out as well. We didn't expect that, you know, we would be almost able to defend 123. But yeah, overall, I guess they they were unlucky. Also, they uh, their batsmen got run out. At the same time, we bowled well. So it was combination of both. I can say. With um with such a low total that you did, you know, you took the game so so close. Yeah, obviously, obviously, uh, it was a great uh, bowling uh, unit effort. The way bowlers bowled, everyone, in fact, everyone chipped in, and it was great that uh, we almost defended 123, which I said previously. So obviously, there are a lot of positive when it comes to bowling department, but it's just that you know, when it comes to a batting unit, we just have to be more cautious about it. Hi, Krunal. Uh, given your front line spinner. Does it, uh, you know, like complicate things that you don't have a single part timer to fill in or chip in when required? Uh, no, nothing such that is because uh, the five bowlers which we have are all quality bowlers who can bowl uh, four rows and who are uh, match winner on their given day. So I don't think. Uh, obviously, if you have options, it's it's good. But I guess whatever is there, we are fine with that. Hi, Krunal. Yeah. yeah. So Glenn Maxwell is saying that you and Jaspreet Bumrah were probably the hardest bowlers to face. So they were trying to attack the others. So what was it that you were trying to do? Uh, nothing. I guess uh, I was just trying to bowl uh, wicket to wicket because uh, uh, on that particular wicket, ball was slightly uh, on the lower side. It was not bouncing that much, and I was just trying to vary my pace, and it worked on that uh, particular day. So yeah. What um, like uh, compared to the previous series against Australia? Have you noticed any sort of changes, or what? Um, yeah, what sort of stands out? Sorry, come again. Compared to the the previous series in Australia, yeah. Um, do you feel like has anything changed in the the Australians' confidence or the way they the way they're playing? I guess obviously uh, history says that Australia has been a great competitive side, and obviously uh, whenever you play against them, they'll give their hundred percent. So. Nothing has changed uh, as far as uh, Indian team concerned. We are concerned about what we want to do right now, and yeah, we uh, we are mindful of that. That it's a, Australia is a good team, and we just want to go out there and you know give our best. Uh, Krunal, considering uh, um, it's all World Cup centric at the moment, how important is uh, this T20 game tomorrow? Uh, obviously, uh, every game is important when you play for India. Uh, so obviously, tomorrow game is again a very important game as we are one zero down in the series. So we'll definitely go out there tomorrow to level the series. Just a follow up on the same question. So because we don't have, uh, we just have five days before the World Cup, and this is the last T20. So how important is it? Because India, we're not habituated to losing so much. So how important is that to build onto the momentum and before the ODI series? Obviously, uh, it's important uh, to go out there and win every game. But eventually, we have to understand it's cricket, it's sport, it's an unpredictable sport. So obviously, whenever we step onto the field, we want to win every game. Uh, talking about the momentum, I guess we have been doing really well. We have been not losing consecutive matches. We have been losing one or two odd games. So if I talk about momentum, it's with uh, the Indian team, and I'm pretty much sure uh, tomorrow as well as in the one-day side we'll do well. Uh, for Australia, Pat Cummins seems to be able to do everything with the, the bat and the ball at the moment. Has Team India? 
paid any extra attention or focus on him and, and how to stop him? Obviously, uh, he's doing really well uh, for Australian team. Uh, yeah, we have been uh, focusing about all the players, what they're doing, what are their strengths and weaknesses. And yeah, he's the one, one of the main uh, player when it comes to bowling and batting. So obviously, we hope that uh, we restrict him in batting tomorrow and we score plenty of runs to him as well. Yeah, hi, Kral. Uh, after this, obviously, there's still after this ODI series, also there's the IPL to come. So for you, from a personal point of view, you've been playing the role of spin bowling all rounder in the T20s. Are you thinking or are you hopeful of any uh, chance of making it to the World Cup squad? Are you not thinking that far? Uh, I'm honestly, I'm not thinking that far. Uh, I like to stay in present and whatever there is right now in my hand, I'll focus on that. Uh, as uh, tomorrow there's a game, so I'll focus on that. So I don't want to think about future, what is there. So, yeah. Hit the subscribe option and the bell icon to get all the exclusive sports videos on Extra Time.